This is the Pollack tank. It is a tier 6 premium American heavy. And holy crap, this is probably the ugliest vehicle Wargaming has ever brought into World of Tanks Blitz. I'm pretty sure this is the tier 6 tech tree heavy on the Yo line when it comes to PC, which actually makes a lot of sense. But yeah, in Blitz, this thing is just an absolutely hideous premium tank. Now, there are two ways to get your hands on this vehicle. The first is spending money, making your way over to the gold and offers tab we can see you can spend 700 gold on five of these little tokens which means you're gonna have to spend 7,000 gold to get your hands on this vehicle if you want to purchase it that way however before you start typing oh my god it's so pay to win you can also earn this vehicle for absolutely free just by doing daily missions you can get 10 tokens to get a day you need 50 to get the vehicle so five days in missions and you'll have the vehicle so it's actually very easy and free to play to get your hands on the the good news is, if you don't like the vehicle, you can sell it for 550,000 credits. But it actually seems to be quite an interesting tank. Starting off, the armor profile is actually quite troll. Its upper plate isn't good. I mean, it's got a lot of weak spots, so I'm not really going to bother throwing the armor. But it, it does have some troll spots, the same for the turret. But god is this thing ugly. Something else I just realized about this vehicle is it is absolutely massive. Look at how big it is on this pedestal. This tank is freaking huge. Sometimes bigger is better, but I don't think that's going to be the case for a tier 6. Oh boy. Well, uh, the only thing left is to take a look at the stats real quick. Four seconds of aiming time. Okay, that's pretty atrocious, but the dispersion's good. DPM's pretty mid. Pen is average for a tier six. I do like that damage per shot. Gun depression is all right. Mobility, pretty good. Okay, so that's a pretty basic overview of the statistics. Essentially, it is a, it's a high alpha tier six gun for the most part. I mean, 240 is not bad. 300 is really the sweet spot. The Eraser BP44, or whatever the heck that thing's called, the uh, tier six French Battle Pass, which is based off the ARL, is really strong because it's got super solid DPM and it's got like 310 alpha. This tank doesn't have much alpha damage, but it does hit pretty hard for an American style vehicle because the M6 only hits for like 200. And uh, I do like the fact that this is 240, which is the same as a Hellcat. We're going to have to see how it ends up working out in battle, though. Here we are in our first game. And holy crap, look at the size of this thing. It's huge. What the heck? All right, well, we got some tier fives and sixes up against us, which will be pretty nice. I'm going to go with the mediums, especially because there are so many mediums. But yeah, this tank is, is actually like Chrysler K levels of size here. I don't think that's going to be a good thing. Like, usually the bigger your tank is, the easier it is to shoot, which is not... Like, the Chrysler has really good armor, which is nice, but, but I don't really think this tank's going to win in the armor department. It's just like an over... It's a Discord mod. There you go. All right. Well, at least mobility-wise, the tank doesn't seem awful. We're going upwards of 37, 38 right now, and we are already down in AMX. Well, I'm not surprised. Let's see, we got the KV-1S, we got a Fury in the back, we got a Sherman in the back as well. Alright, well, let's just aim it on the Sherman. Okay, aiming time's pretty bad on the vehicle, but at least it, uh, at least it has good dispersion. Let's aim it on the Tiger. There you go, nice shot. Oh, but we just got hit by the TD for 301. Very, very cringe. All right, let's aim it on the Tiger. There you go. Another nice shot for 225. Thank you. All right, we got the KV-1S off to the side. Bonk, 260. Okay. I do like that alpha. That, that does feel very, very nice. Just rolling people for 240, 260. Not too bad, if I do say so myself. All right. Well, let's pull over here, that way the tiger can't hit us, and then we can hit, maybe, well, we can just aim it on the side of the tiger, I guess. Bonk! Oh, 300 max roll! Thank you very much. Three, two, one. You are definitely getting bonked again, good sir. Another 260 damage roll into your vehicle. Alright, not a bad game at all, not a bad battle. All that's left is the ARL that I kind of care about, but I don't even think it's going to matter because that VK is probably going to bedonker him. Well, oh well. We're kind of stuck in like the middle area here. Oh, wait. No, the ARL's not moving. All right, we are going to get one shell in. That's all I want. 
Give me one shot. <laughs> I'm going to steal your kill. I'm going to steal your kill. <laughs> Either way, pretty average game for a tier 5, 6 battle. 1500 damage dealt. The gun felt alright, and the vehicle didn't seem too bad. But again, it is a tier 6, so I can't really expect much out of, uh, out of tier 6 gameplay. Alright, second game, another decent matchup, but we do got some nasties. We have a Hellcat, Jackson, both with, I'm pretty sure, the same alpha. Actually, I don't know if Wargaming buffed the Jackson's alpha. They probably did, because they buffed the T25 twos. Uh, but you never know, you never know when it comes to classic Wargaming, because they, they forgot to buff the Vicar CR DPM, so, you know, it never surprises me. Let's see. Let's push on up. Yeah, mobility though, I will say, actually pretty nice on this vehicle. Uh, for for how big it is, it's actually decently accelerating. Also, I just noticed that we are probably bigger than the Meet 2108, and that's literally one of the largest low tier vehicles. That one didn't go through. That's crazy. Well, the KV2 shot. Let's see. Did he ruin somebody's day? Yes, he did. Long live our teammate. <laughs> Alright, let's just aim it on the KV-1, thank you, 259 damage shot. Yeah, we literally are the same size as the Me Too, that is actually insane. Yeah. There you go, easy shot. This Me Too's gonna lose a lot of health, I guarantee it. Yep, there you go, 750. Congratulations! I knew that was gonna happen the moment he poked, because the Me Too is literally negative armor all over the vehicle. Alright, we got an AT-2 in front, and... Okay, that was just, uh... I don't know, it wasn't even a bad shot, that was just unlucky. Alright. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize the AT-2 actually has, like, incredible armor for a Tier 5. And it's also got decent DPM. The only nice thing about our tank is that we obviously out-trade it, like, 8 times to 1. So, uh, yeah. It's gonna be pretty easy to clear that vehicle. Wonder if we can uh, hit him with an AP shell. I'm gonna try it. And bonk. Nice. Okay, we didn't have to load gold for the last one. Looks like the KV-1 is dead, and KV-1 should be able to finish that off. Got the Chinu Kai on our side. Come on, poke it again. There you go. Easy 300 roll. He's gonna either have to back up or, uh, yeah. You're, you're donezo, bro. You're absolutely toast. You're toast! Ha ha ha! Bonk! There you go. See, being big has one advantage, we can ram people. Alright, well, all that's left is a Jackson off to the side, who we're gonna give a nice old slap a -rooney. There you go, 250 roll. Then the KV's just gonna go out, and for some reason the Jackson's gonna shoot me over the KV. We're gonna get another nice bonk. Are you gonna kill him? No, of course not. Why would you do that? Alright, bye bye This tank seems to have a decent amount of health. I have 1,272. But the KV-1S has a thousand, but to be fair, I don't think that guy's running HP. Either way, not a bad game. It seems like we were up to about 2,700 damage this battle, which is pretty good. I have a feeling this M6 is AFK. That's my guess. So we're going to head directly into their spawn. We're going to see. Come here, M6. Oh, yep, he is AFK. Aiming. Bonk. Thank you very much. Oh, I like my bonkings. All right, let's reload again. And a three, and a two, and a one. A bonk. There you go. Another nice 200 slap. Wonder, uh, is he going to try and HE him? He probably is. And that tank will be able to HE pen him from the rear. Nope, he doesn't. He just drives to his rear to not HE pen him. Well, not my problem. We got 3,300 damage. And we're going to still get an additional 100 out. There you go. Yeah, I kind of figured that M6 is AFK. We haven't seen in the whole game. So there you go. 3,500 damage in a tier 6. Heavy. Not too bad. I'm hoping this is an ace, so I never ever have to play this vehicle again. If it's not an ace, I still will probably never play it again. But at least I won't... Yes! There you go. I won't ever feel even inclined to play it. So... There you have it. I mean, the vehicle's fine. I don't really have any complaints. The armor isn't going to hold up against tier 7s at all. Neither is it really going to hold up against tier 6s. But it's got a decent gun and it has a lot of HP. Let me see how much HP like the M6 has. 12, 19. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's decent. I don't know. It's a cool tank. It's free, so you can't really complain. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.